In the area of science, gigantic mysteries pertaining to what existed prior to the gigantic explosion have sparked mixed conversations and fascinated scholars for quite a while. This huge question doesn't just test how we could decipher the universe. It challenges the genuine furthest limits of human knowledge. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, examining the Colossus, observing and pondering the contents that existed before our universe was imagined. The Big Bang, which established the beginning of all things, including time and space, is well known. But was there a moment earlier? In the past, this might have been a condition of nothingness, a calm before the cosmic gathering began. If this is true, what was it? Or perhaps there was something far more frightening that existed before time itself. As we jump further into this question, science takes us on a journey past the insight into the beginning of the universe that tests our conscious awareness. Physicist Brian Cox, well known for his examination of the wonders of the universe, suggests that something surprising might have existed before the enormous detonation. He moves us to reconsider our perception of the world and existence. In this investigation, we dissect the theories, the research, and the amazing insider information that could figure out what happened before everything else. We will investigate ideas like self-important growth, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The responses we've provided may just paralyze you, but they might also open up new perspectives regarding our position. Prepare to plunge into the depths of the universe into a realm that defies imagination and science. In the midst of the obscure, around the scientists who left in the shadows, floored and sometimes even upset, we ought to investigate the time, preceding the Big Bang and the reasons these theories test everything we thought we knew. To consider what might have been before the Big Bang, we must first painstakingly analyze what the Big Bang was. According to scientists, the Big Bang was the point in time when the universe became extremely hot and dense, growing rapidly to set off the development of all matter, energy, and space. When we look at the night sky, there are no boundaries. It reveals evidence of this hot beginning with the expansion of galaxies this way and that from the beginning point. But why exactly did this happen? Furthermore, was there a period prior to this blazingly fast start? As indicated by the idea of huge expansion, there was, without a doubt, a before, and it was not even close to void or peaceful. Vast expansion suggests that the universe existed before the Big Bang in a state that was cold, vacant, and loose, basically resembling a huge vacuum. Nevertheless, this vacuum was not entirely unfulfilled. It contained a tremendous amount of energy that fueled the quick extension of space itself, called inflation. This happened so rapidly that it essentially established the foundation for everything else. In a portion of the following space, extending at unfathomable rates until the extension slowed down, the energy transformed into matter-like atoms and the forces that we consider to be the Big Bang. But what was this energy used for? Why did the universe grow suddenly, and why did it stop? Specialists believe that this incredible expansion brought about each patch of the universe undergoing its own Big Bang. Think of a fabric extending endlessly, with tiny air pockets forming here and there. Each air pocket represented a universe, which includes our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are possibly big bangs with no limits and an infinite number of universes. Our own is just one of many. This enormous, perplexing reality impedes our comprehension of the universe as a whole, leaving us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not real at any rate, as per our current comprehension. Even if you eliminate all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it still wouldn't be genuinely void. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other factors that combine to create an artwork embroidered with something, even in its most empty building. Regardless of whether we can picture removing all these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still produce new species of energy. 
This reality is perplexing to experts because it implies that real nothingness within space may not be possible. Space itself in our infinite comprehension has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being totally empty. Imagine constructing a region with no particles, radiation, or energy, except quantum fields and important constants. These would not change, implying that this absence has properties. For instance, a phenomenon known as zero-point energy, which is the lowest possible energy condition of quantum fields, exists in this state. Particles can still momentarily appear and evaporate, creating a spooky resonance of movement even in what should be empty space. This questions our notion of a real void and suggests that yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are just beginning to comprehend. One of the most astounding theories in current cosmology is the chance of timeless expansion. If inflation could cause our universe to exist, it's possible it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes astonishingly high levels of inflation in the multiverse, the location of universes infinitely created and continuing to expand. Consider every Big Bang to be a flash illuminating another universe, while inflation continues in different areas, making countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, go on for eternity. This idea of vast universes gives birth to the wonderful idea of a fractal universe, in which every new universe could actually make its own Big Bang. Every universe exists as a separate, independent, Domain, unaffected by the others, as a result of the rapid growth of space. For researchers, this hypothesis is both exciting and upsetting, as it suggests a never-ending multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just one bit in a giant cosmic structure, forever expanding and creating new universes on a regular basis. And what if the disturbing reality is that there is neither a beginning nor an end, but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and decaying? How we interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. The universe is not just an assortment of matter floating in space. Rather, it's a complex network of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to create all that we observe. These fields are similar to unnoticeable seas, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest state of energy, known as the vacuum, they are still active. Particles can appear and vanish in these areas momentarily, acquiring energy before it is returned. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, substances that immediately exist and then vanish, leaving only a hazy recollection of their presence. The idea of virtual particles casts doubt on the notion of a real void. Imagine a universe in which nothing exists, matter, radiation, and energy are removed. Would you have nothing? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, sometimes creating transient particles. This constant movement in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces endure, filling the universe with a hidden energy that prevents total inertia. This understanding raises an intriguing question. If fields produce particles and particles make matter, could the universe itself have emerged from this void filled with dark energy? Dark energy is a mysterious force that currently drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. But was there dark energy before the Big Bang? Some accounts suggest that the dark energy that exists today is a leftover of an energy field that existed before the universe's development. Dark energy's properties seem to suggest a colossal hidden force that may have been present prior to the Big Bang. According to some hypotheses, dark energy in a much stronger state could have controlled the inflationary stage causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy hints at the fact that, regardless of whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to expand the fabric of space-time. This thought leads to an upsetting question. If dark energy existed prior to the Big Bang, could it have formed the factors that contributed to the birth of our universe?
dark energy could be the unnoticed creator of inflation or even the actual start. Our entire universe, as we investigate this possibility, faces the capacity of dark energy to not only be a force shaping our universe, but also a key that could provide access to another theory, the multiverse itself. This theory provides a replacement for the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning. It is cyclic, a theory of cosmology that suggests the universe goes through innumerable cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In this model, the Big Bang was not a single event, but rather a component of an eternal rhythm in which universes expand, then collapse, and regenerate in another cycle. This theory suggests that the universe we live in may have been reborn from the ashes of a previous life. The expansion and contraction of the universe in a cyclical pattern would entail that there was never a real start, rather an endless series of universes that are emerging, expanding, and renewing themselves cyclically, repeatedly. The study of cosmology raises significant concerns regarding the notion that time itself might be cyclical rather than linear. If this theory is correct, it could indicate that the preceding Big Bang was just another version of one universe that collapsed, only to rise again, giving birth to our current universe. Researchers say that this theory has a lot of response to the question of origins, claiming that there is no such thing as a definitive origin since the universe has existed in some form since its inception, challenging our early concepts of time and existence. Gravitational waves are another intriguing concept that may or may not provide clues to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves from the Big Bang are ripples in space-time as a result of huge cosmic events. Scientists believe these early-stage waves, if ever found, might reveal new understandings of the universe's earliest times. These waves might be of use as the echoes of what came before the Big Bang. If they can be identified, they could demonstrate that the universe's previous mentions, the possibility of discovery of gravitational waves in their early stages, is one of the most intriguing options in contemporary cosmology, as it may not only expose the truth regarding the Big Bang, but also provide a glimpse of the universe's state prior to the birth of our universe. This theory presents a tempting possibility, detecting waves of gravitation that could act as traces of an earlier Big Bang universe. As we keep looking into what could have been present prior to the Big Bang, we investigate ideas that push the boundaries of our understanding putting us in danger of challenging our most fundamental presumptions regarding space, time, and self-existence. Among the most amazing concepts originate from the realm of quantum gravity, a field that seeks to meld general relativity and quantum mechanics. This merger could potentially expose a single theory for everything and may provide an understanding of what existed prior to the Big Bang. According to quantum gravity, time and space are not continuous, smooth entities like we experience them, but remain hidden, granular structures. According to this theory, the fabric of space-time itself could have been formed from a microscopic Planck scale structure with tiny quantum fluctuations shaping the universe in ways that we do not yet comprehend. What? We perceive from this perspective as the smooth space-time continuum might be an illusion, and it's possible that time only emerged from these changing quantum fields, resulting in a reality before the Big Bang described by a completely different idea in which time and space themselves lacked completeness. Another possibility is that the universe is part of a vast cosmic landscape filled with potential universes, each with different physical laws and constants. This theory, which is based on the string landscape, arises from string theory, which holds that all fundamental particles actually have tiny vibrating strings. Within this framework, there are numerous configuration options, each of these strings representing a different set of physical laws. The string landscape could imply that our universe is just one of many, each emerging from a distinct Big Bang-like event. The existence of such a landscape also brings forth the notion that other universes might have different strengths, dimensions of gravity, or even various kinds of matter. 
In this perspective, our universe might not be unique, but rather a part of a multiverse, a collection of universes, each independently developing. The multiverse theory offers a hypothetical yet intriguing response to the question of the universe. Prior to the Big Bang, another universe in a different configuration, possibly leading to endless cycles of creation and annihilation without a definitive origin. In addition to these, some theoretical models of the cosmos have also considered the role of black holes in the nature of the universe. A growing hypothesis is that our universe may be the result of the formation of a black hole in another universe. In this scenario, the black hole's singularity at its center might be a way to get to another universe. The Big Bang was the moment when a similar black hole produced our cosmos. This hypothesis is bolstered by the fact that, as per general relativity, the singularity at the center of a black hole is a point where the space-time curve is infinite, creating a region where the known laws of physics break down. It's possible that the extreme conditions inside black holes could lead to the creation of new universes, which may indicate that our Big Bang was just the birth of our universe from the singularity of an ancient black hole. Exploring these concepts requires a deep dive into the very nature of time itself. Some cosmologists believe that time might not have meant anything prior to the Big Bang. Assuming that the Big Bang marked the beginning of time, then there may have been no before in any standard sense. According to this view, time itself might have emerged from a fluctuation in the quantum world or from a primordial state where the usual distinctions between past, present, and future did not exist. This could lead us to rethink the concept of causality, which is predicated on the idea that events take place in a straight line. If we had no idea how time worked as we experience it, then the question of what came before the Big Bang becomes absurd because there wouldn't be any temporal framework to support it. Further complicating the picture are theories of cyclic time as mentioned previously. Cyclic cosmology suggests that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, development, and eventual demise. In this model, the Big Bang could represent just the most recent bounce in a series of universe cycles that last forever. These cycles might not be the same, but might change in various ways, each cycle with unique physical properties. According to this theory, the universe would be a continual process with no true beginning or end, rendering the question of before the Big Bang meaningless in the conventional sense. The notion that time might be cyclical suggests that every Big Bang could be followed by a contraction and another big crunch, with the universe reinitiating itself in an endless loop. Another means of looking into the potential of the cosmos is its nature as a primordial liquid of fields and particles that existed prior to the establishment of stars and galaxies. This concept suggests that before the universe began its rapid expansion, it was filled with a dense and fiery concoction of elementary particles, including quarks, leptons, and bosons, all in a state of extreme energy. These particles would have interacted at very high temperatures and densities, establishing the foundation for the formation of energy and matter. As the universe cooled, some versions of this theory suggest that this soup from the beginning existed in a quantum foam where particles kept appearing and disappearing because of the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. The properties of this soup could potentially provide an understanding of the universe's beginnings and, by extension, what preceded the Big Bang itself. Ultimately, the world before the Big Bang still exists as one of the most important enigmas in science. As our understanding of quantum mechanics, cosmology, and fundamental physics improves, new hypotheses will continue to appear, providing increasingly complicated and sometimes contradictory explanations for the origins of our universe. While we may never fully grasp what came before the Big Bang. The search for this information will continue to stretch the limits of human curiosity, driving us to explore the unknown frontiers of existence.